So I want you to hear this story that this woman's going to tell that she gave her man an ultimatum about trying to marry her. And I want you to hear exactly what he did. Let's roll that. Well, after I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention. I had no job. I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was going to force this man to propose to me for three months. He was like, do what you got to do. You want to move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car and we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really going to let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. Now let's give him a hand clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to give him a hand clap on that one because she was weaponizing her presence to him. And that's also a form of gaslighting is weaponizing your presence. And so she kept telling him, well, if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm going to weaponize my presence by removing it. So you better do what I, you know, say you should do. Now, at the same time, you should not feel that you need to weaponize your presence to anybody. If a person does not want to marry you, well, maybe you need to sit down and have a conversation as to why. Why don't they want to marry you? But also, I'm going to say this. This is why you do not move in with a woman or a man. Why buy the cow when you're getting the milk for free? Why should he marry you and you laid up in the house with him? Why should he marry you and y'all doing y'all thing in the bedroom? He got everything else that, that a married woman will really be given to a man except the paperwork. So, so why should he marry you at that point? Why did you have a conversation about marriage? They say, look, I move out there because we're going to get married. When I get out there, we're getting married and then we're going to start our life together. Were y'all even engaged? Did y'all, did y'all call the, the wedding planner? Did y'all do anything? No, you just moved in with him. So, so, then you're going to weaponize your presence. Well, I'm going to leave. You don't marry me. He's like, Oh, no. all right, go ahead and go then. I'm good. I'm good. Matter of fact, I will help you pack. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Listen, bro. Didn't want to marry you from the start. That's why he had no problem helping you pack. So what lesson learn? Cause, cause she and any other ladies learn from that. Don't move in no house and no man that you're not married to. There's no incentive for a man to marry you once you moved in the house with him. None. Unless he just having a moral epiphany and say, you know what? I want to make sure I'm living right by God. And I, I need to make sure that things are right. Okay. If, if he don't say that, what's the reason? And then let's call it what it is. This society doesn't even incentivize marriage. It don't actually for men. It is something that we take a great risk of doing in this society. Because of no fault divorce and a woman can walk away for any reason at any time, you can be the best guy in the world because she don't, she don't want to be with you the most. She's just going to leave and she can take half of everything with her. Some men don't want to get married in this society. I mean, could you blame them? And now you have a lot of women that's starting to feel that too, because women control intimacy in that area, access to their bodies, but men control marriage. And a lot of men are saying today, I'm not marrying y'all because y'all don't respect it. If you can get up and just leave your marriage and it's not nothing that somebody will say, oh no, you need to leave that man. That man doing this, that, and the third, he cheating, he beating you. He, you doing this, he do, you know what I'm saying? Nothing about it. You just up and leave cause, cause you want to. Well, I don't want to be with him no more. Or you want to be out in these streets. Or you, you didn't watch Instagram so long. And now you, you want a taste of these streets. That's what you want. A lot of men are afraid of, 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 of getting married now because of that and having their lives ruined and ran through the ringer. So that's what y'all got to deal with today on top of that. So if you're not married, don't move in. And you could prevent that problem a hundred percent, but y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, this situation. Just, just don't gaslight your presence like that because yeah, you gaslighting your presence. 
you know, I mean, I, I would tell my son the same thing. Yeah, she keep telling you, uh, if you if you don't uh, do this, I'm going to leave. Go ahead and go do what you got to do, sister. Do what you got to do. Because you don't weaponize your presence to me. Because 